Hey, what's going on? We got Steve Moninbach back in the house again, going back-to-back -back videos. Last one was about hard money leads. This one is going to be about mortgage leads. Specifically, it's going to be about how to get home purchase leads or home buyer leads, right? So if you're a realtor, this also will apply to you. Mainly, uh, this is for loan officers, branch managers, mortgage executives looking for buyer leads right now uh because that's what this is designed for it's my sister's branch at geneva financial her name is michelle johansson she, she got married that's why we have different last names now um but you can always reach out to her as well if you have questions about my leads this is our second or third campaign um so she has several loan officers at her branch at geneva financial that she is feeding leads to uh and the home buyer leads are what we're doing right now, right? Um, I have other campaigns going as well with like VA cash outs, um, non-QM, home, more home buyers, cash out refis. I've done HELOCs recently, reverse mortgage, um, FHA cash out, jumbo cash out, you name it, I can, I can put it together. Uh, anything real estate or lending related, okay? GetMIB.com is my website. Hit that subscribe button down below this video. Don't forget, uh, I always try to post updated videos so you can see exactly what the market looks like right now, right? So today, you can see in the bottom of my screen is 11 for November 4th, 2022. And we're going to be looking at the last week of buyer leads uh, for Michelle's branch right here, okay? So let's, uh, you can see right here's the date. Here's the date today. Um, this is the ad, there's her name. So uh, 22 home buyer leads for 8.95 a piece. I'm still trying to get these down a little bit lower than that, but it's not bad. It's like you get this cost per click, you know, down closer to like 150 or one. That's really where you want to be at. Uh, but let's go ahead and just look at the advertisement for a second. Pull it up. Pull my face up. <laughs> All right, here we are. Come on. So, if you're interested in mortgage leads, home buyer leads, here's a sample of a home buyer advertisement. Right? Want to buy a home? Calculate your monthly payment in two minutes. Learn how to buy a home with little or no money down. Um, you can do dynamic ads now, so you can actually put in a whole bunch of different text options and let Facebook pick the best one for that person. Optimize for each person, right? It's pretty cool. It's a newer thing they've added. Um, so you do the same thing with your headlines, same thing with descriptions. Uh, you can display your link if you want. This doesn't really make a difference. I've tried it with and without. You also have um, other options for call to action buttons in here like get quote, apply now, et cetera. Um, see that, that one just popped up. I don't want to mess with this one though because it's going pretty good right now. So let's close that out. <clears throat> and then uh, if we go down a little further, we get to the lead form. So for the lead form, uh, these are all the different questions I, I add in myself. These aren't just there, I customized it. I make everything a drop down menu. So uh, that way the, the borrower potential client cannot screw it up, right? So here you can see the different options I have listed for them to, to choose between for the loan purpose or their goal, right? The property state, if you don't do this and you just let them write it in, they'll put like, you know, A-R-I-Z for Arizona or something like that. And when you're trying to, when you're trying to drop this data into your, um, into your CRM, it needs to all be, the data needs to all be um, this in the same format, right? So I did not mean to go to my calendar. <laughs> um, so I can get it back. Okay, good. Here we go. It's coming back now. Get it on the right page. We're back. We're back. All right. So then are they a property investor? Yes or no? Property use, primary residence, second home, investment property, property type, right? Uh, estimated property value, all drop downs, mobile choice questions, 
loan type requested, conventional VA, FHA, USDA, Jumbo, rental income, DSCR, bank statement, investment property loan, hard money, private money, commercial, blanket, asset depletion for national I-10, reverse or other, um, cash out requested, you know, if any, otherwise they could put zero, um, total loan amount requested, property location info, which basically means address, first name, last name, email, phone, um, some extra language in here to be compliant with texting. Uh, tap the call us now button below to speak with our branch manager, Michelle Johansson. Boom, goes right to her cell phone. And if somebody calls in, it also goes right to her cell phone. Uh, and when you're running these ads, people will call in, right? So keep that in mind. Now let's go to this. Okay, so now we're on her Facebook page. Again, here we have, this is like my kind of go-to design, right? We have the logo, different logos, equal housing opportunity stuff, NMLS numbers, you know, put a Zillow review in there, text me cash out or buy to, and then the cell phone number for a free quote, big, you know, call the action button. Um, and then, you know, like an email signature type type of thing as well your picture if if you want it or just picture there or logo here either way um and then one other thing i'm going to show on the page that i've been doing for all of my clients uh is setting up these automated replies right because not everybody looks at their facebook messages not all my clients do and so um this is what i do we set up they can fill out the online app uh text app complete email documents too, you know, how, however we want to set that up, but uh, this is, you know, a good way to do it. Try to push them to the, to completing the loan app, right? That's the goal. Have them complete that 1003. All right. So that was uh, that we did the ads. We did the page. We did the automated reply through the page. Now let's go to the lead sheet. Okay. So this is a lead sheet. These are all the leads that have come through so far for Michelle on the home buyer campaign. Um, so there you have it. We're we're targeting only uh, I guess these states right here. She's in Oregon. So and then she's got you know we've got a little drop down here so you can she can assign whichever loan officer on her team that she wants to assign to it. That was I came up with that idea myself. Uh, so I, I add this in for you if you need it and then. We have the contact status and then um, the lead status, right? Where are they at in the process? And you can put notes after that. That's if you don't have a CRM. If you have a CRM and you want to take notes in that, uh, I actually set a CRM up, a sub account in my CRM for Michelle. I would show that one, but um, I haven't finished her automation sequence yet. So I'll show the one I've set up for my mortgage brokerage instead, but real quick, this is the chain of events, right? A lead comes in through her page, through the form that's attached to her page, right? There's the lead form, there's her page. Uh, the lead gets deposited, zapped, <laughs> zapped into um, a Google Sheet, which was that this Google Sheet that I just showed you, okay? Um, then it gets, Michelle gets a text message sent to her with all that information as well in real time. Then after that, she gets um, an email notification with all this stuff and uh, a link to the uh, to the lead sheet. <clears throat> and then the last step is it de deposits her leads into uh, the CRM that I created for. Her. And then after that, what really should happen is it would assign to a loan officer, and then start start going through the automated sequence, which would look like this. This is the automated sequence I set up for my mortgage brokerage, Zoom Loans, LLC, uh, NMLS 223-2609, right? So I, I have about nine states where I'm licensed right now as a company. Um, so a form submitted or a new contact is created. First thing that happens, it gets assigned to somebody because it has to, the system has to know how to who to send from, right? And you could weight people differently. If you have a better LO, you could put more weight on them, right? or if you don't want to take as many apps, uh, so, so you can split the traffic however you want, equally un, or un, unevenly. Um, after it gets assigned, first step is uh, giving them a lead form submission confirmation by text and email. 
and also making sure you have the reply stopped on subscribing here. Also uh, important to have uh, this is, and then your full name and your location name. So this is Steve Monenbach with Zoom Loans. You submit your info through a lead form regarding real estate financing. How can I help? Reply stop to unsubscribe. Like that, you want to keep it short and sweet, right to the point, and remind them of their uh, ability to opt out. Okay. Same thing through email, con confirming all their information and asking for like credit score and other things like that. Waits five minutes, or sorry, waits two minutes then sends them a link to the online application through text and email, waits five minutes, um, and then sends them a, a calendar booking link in case they want to book a time in the calendar, waits for a reply or one hour, whichever comes first. Did they reply to that last SMS? If yes, it sends them down this way, right? It's like process flow. If it doesn't, then it sends them down this way. So if they did reply, uh, waits five minutes. Was the reply positive? Yes, if it was positive, it sends them down here. No, if they didn't reply positively, th this system can actually identify positive intent, see? So it, it can pick up certain words and put together whether uh, it was positive intent. So if there was positive intent, it's going. I'm going to automatically ask them when they're free for a quick call. If they don't respond to that, wait today. Instead of another follow-up, right? But if they're replying positively, that's probably enough. Now, if they're not replying at all, I want to hammer them, right? So if they didn't reply, it waits an hour. We're going to send them a first name question mark, like Bob with a question mark, right? Same thing through uh, text and email. Then if they don't rep respond to that, it's going to wait a day, and then it's going to ask them if they have any questions for me, right? Through text and email again, right? Because some people prefer to communicate through text, some through email. And you really should, I should have some voicemail drops in here too. So that way you're hitting them three different mediums, <clears throat> voicemails, uh, emails, and texts. Waits for a day there, want a, want a copy, a free copy of our loan guide so they can see what types of loans we offer, right? Then again, an email asking if they still need help, waits another day, and then, um, and then ask them if they're there, if they're there, right? Trying to get them, trying to get a response out of them. So if they, my guess is if they haven't responded by, by this, they're probably not going to respond at all. Uh, overall, I would guess you're probably going to get on these, on my leads, you're going to get probably some with this sequence, as opposed to the last one I created, which was about 52% response rate without me having to do anything. This one will probably get like around a 75% because it, the last one I made was only for one day. This one goes out for quite a few days, right? Maybe a week even. So uh, if you're interested in having me set up a custom CRM setup for you, I can do that inside my CRM, right? Like how I set, here's Michelle's branch. Um, I've set them up for other people as well. Uh, there's my marketing company CRM too. We can see it for Michelle's real quick. <clears throat> I haven't uh, built her a workflow there yet, but I think I dropped like some templates for texts and emails in here. Yeah, see? just some basic texts and emails that they can use to blast out to uh, their contacts. Uh, that is about it, that's all I got. Tap subscribe down below this video, bang that subscribe button, uh, and I'll keep you updated on the latest events in mortgage and real estate lead generation. Uh, my cell phone number is 503-551-8690. Text me the word leads if you want me to uh, help you with lead generation. There's also a Calendly booking link below this video. You can do that to hit that to book a time in my calendar. Or you can email me at steve at get M-I-B, like get men in black, stands for get marketing, influencing, branding, steve at get M-I-B.com. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Text me, email me. If you have any questions, I respond uh, as fast as I can, okay? All right, guys. Hope to talk soon.